Have you ever heard of the phrase, a leopard doesn't change its spots? Or you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Or old habits die hard? Well, what if I told you that these phrases are cap? My name is Leo, licensed mental health counselor. And neuroplasticity is your brain's ability to change its structure and function in response to your experiences. In other words, the way a person thinks, feels, behaves, and the ways we were raised can literally mold and reshape your brain over time. For years, we believed the brain stopped developing in adulthood, which is now not true. Thanks to contemporary research, we now know that the brain is dynamic. The brain is capable of forming new connections, strengthening existing connections, and throwing away old connections we don't use. The process is called synaptic plasticity, and it is happening all of the time. Research using fMRI scans show that activities such as learning new skills, practicing mindfulness, engaging in therapy, literally changes your brain structure. And activities such as cardiovascular exercise may even facilitate healthy synaptic pruning and improved cognitive function. So, in essence, our brain wires itself based on repetition and feedback. When you practice something, whether if it's a coping skill or a negative thought loop, your brain strengthens the pathway for it. That's why habits form. And that's also why trauma responses can feel automatic. The good news is, no matter how old you are, you can rewire those patterns. Every major evidence-based therapy relies on neuroplasticity, including CBT, CPT, and EMDR. Even mindfulness has been shown to grow gray matter in areas tied to emotional regulation. Neuroplasticity is the reason therapy isn't just talking. Therapy is literally your brain flexing and forging new pathways. And yes, children, adults, and even older adults can experience this. While the brain is more flexible when we're younger, Research shows that plasticity continues across the lifespan, especially when we stay mentally active. So no, you're not lazy or broken or stuck forever. Your brain just needs to get to flexing and get its reps in. And the best way to start? Small, repeated actions tied to your values. Even sitting through discomfort helps the brain learn safety. And remember this quote instead, neurons that fire together, wire together. Like, comment, and share if this helped reframe how you think about change. Follow me here and on YouTube to find more mental health content. And if you're stuck in old patterns and need help finding a way out, take this with you to therapy.